All right, good day, hi, and welcome. Starting a business for a thousand bucks. It's a nice day out, it's Easter Sunday, so I thought I'd eh, make some nice videos. Some videos. I got my car all loaded up here. <laughs> Pop cans, beer cans. Uh, I've got uh, my whipper snipper, some chainsaws in there, ready to go on Tuesday to the uh, still shop and uh, get the, hopefully the whipper snipper fixed under warranty and uh, get a, uh, Chainsaw medical advice on my uh, Ninja Shark chainsaw, the 50cc MS260 and my MS270 saw, Squatch, as I call it. Uh, but anyway, so let's say you have a thousand bucks, okay? You've saved up a thousand bucks and you want to start a business. And you've been looking online on the, oh, if you just do this, uh, you'll make this much. Just put all that thousand dollars into Bitcoin. Well, I know people that have got ten thousand dollars into Bitcoin and I'll be honest with you, they're not do it, it's not paying that fast. Right, so uh, the point is, is that you can't uh, go with the get rich quick scheme because if you do, you're not going to have, I mean, it's just way too much of a gamble. Uh, you have to understand for every one person that wins at some sort of uh, investment scheme, there's thousands that don't to make that one person rich, right? So I'm not saying don't invest anything, but I'm saying, if you can only scrounge up a thousand dollars to start a business uh you want to move your money wisely so get out a pen and a paper here because i'm going to tell you what to get first off get yourself some good work boots uh this is all going to be labor oriented but working out in the sunshine you know with stuff like that it is hard work but it's not brutal brutal some days it can be when it's really hot out but uh yeah but uh so if I, I i was to do it all over again uh the first thing i would do is obviously buy the work boots buy some eye protection i know a lot of people oh, i don't like that it looks stupid uh eye protection man your eyes are your eyes you know uh trust me i'm 50 and my vision is starting to go trust me you you, you uh i mean i still got pretty good vision but uh you'll have less good vision if you get something in your eye right so get some of these Get yourself a working helmet for two reasons. The first reason is really obvious, safety. And I mean, especially when you're whipping, snipping and stuff like that, these are good. If uh, you're gonna be where there's like poison ivy and stuff like that, you, you can't breathe hardly at all, but get the glass one so it's, uh, it's not hitting you in the face. Uh, the next thing is uh, that's it's not obvious, but is when a client sees you wearing that, Okay, you'd be surprised how many people, oh wow, you look so professional. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they, they like that. They like the guy that looks like he's coming off of a race team. You know what I mean? So, you know, if you could wear like branded stuff, I, I, I'm not one of those people that, okay, wear, wear it for style, wear it for presentation. Uh, you know, image, you know, it's the image thing, right? They, they just see, oh, wow, this guy has matching clothes to his chainsaw or his whippersnipper. He must be uh, pretty professional. He looks like he's taking it seriously. And you'd be surprised, it's, as stupid as that sounds, it, it does, your reputation is your number one asset. Uh, above your tools, above everything. So once you got the safety gear, uh, gloves, good, you know, like you're going to go through gloves regularly anyway, good work boots, all that. Now you can get into it, okay? So you can buy tools, but before you even buy tools, uh, you're gonna get the basics, okay? You don't have to break the bank here. Sometimes you probably already have this stuff lying around, but if you're a young lad, you got nothing, okay? You just got out of college with $130,000 of debt, uh, go buy yourself a good shovel. Go buy yourself a good rake, maybe not one quite as dilapidated as this one, but this is a really good. If you have enough for a second shovel, get a mini shovel. These come in handy in tight spots. Get yourself not a, a, a limbing axle. You could get a limbing axle like that, but get yourself a good splitting maul, which is uh, I don't I don't know where my splitting maul went, uh, but it's it's basically it's ha like half of a sledgehammer, half axe. They're about six pounds. Don't get the twelve pounder. Get the six pounder because uh, you, if you got to swing that thing for more than five minutes, you'll, you'll find out why I recommend the six pounder. Um, these things, good pruning shears. Hard to get good pruning shears. Good idea to get that. Nice buck saw. Get yourself a good size one. If you can get two, get a big one, get a small one. Uh, that, 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 that's, uh, it's good to have a square shovel. 
of some sort because uh, even even uh, if you're not doing snow removal sometimes it's a good idea to have that then i get into the uh the fun stuff so if you're into the yard work uh if you can find yourself a used but running okay lawnmower get yourself that I, I get lawnmowers given to me all the time i get them on scrap metal runs uh sometimes clients just give it to me so get that get a good whipper snipper and a lawnmower push mower uh if the place has a riding mower great if you can get a lot riding mower for like in that thousand dollar budget yeah obviously get it but i don't know how good it, but it has to be something that is not breaking down while you're on the job so get whatever's reliable. You're better off to hold off than buy junk. Oh, it's a good deal. Yeah, but it, it doesn't run right. And you're sitting there messing around with it when somebody's paying you by the hour. Not a, not a good. Chainsaws. Uh, I got this chainsaw for free. So for me, I'm lucky that way. But you might find a chainsaw like this for about 150 bucks. Uh, get a small chainsaw before you get a big one, unless you can get the big one for, you know, reasonable money. Um... So right now you're probably close uh, with a whippersnipper, a push mower, a chainsaw. Uh, you know, if you get one of these little yard working chainsaws, these things are just fantastic. I got that for about 200. So let's add it up here. So whippersnipper was 60 used. Uh, the brand new one was 220. Okay, this was 200 used, new they're about 250 uh to 300 so you're gonna have to make a decision on what you're going to use the most i can guarantee you you will use this pretty much daily you will use the whipper snipper pretty much daily if you can only afford the one of the one of those three things because most people have the lawnmower almost nobody has a whipper snipper or a good working one i would invest in the whipper snipper before the lawnmower or the chainsaw because you could make a living just Whipper snipping. I, I kid you not. You could say a professional whipper snipper. That I don't rake. I don't do this. I don't do that. Well, maybe I rake up a little bit when I'm done. Uh, but uh, whipper snipper. <laughs> get the whipper snipper. Uh, if you can find a lot of the stuff you can find used, get if it's used equipment as long as it, you know it's going to be reliable enough. Because like I say, a lot of stuff I get given to me just for all the clients where they're like, oh, we got a new one of those. Do you want it? I just got a free pressure washer the other day. Uh, you know, like, how cool is that? Uh, so, yeah, so there's another whipper snipper that whatever. Uh, the wheelbarrow I got for free, it was broken. Uh, it just needed a new handle. But this is an awesome wheelbarrow for the money. My dad made the handle there. Looks pretty crude, but uh, pretty cool. <laughs> that's scrap. I got that one for free. You know, again, it's a place to start. But maybe you, you know, if you're going to buy a new wheelbarrow, a new wheelbarrow is probably going to cost you about a two to three hundred dollars. You know, I mean, for a decent one. Uh, so just be very mindful. But get the things that you know people will need first. So boots, you have to get that because that's safety equipment. Eye protection is a must. Good gloves, especially anti-vibration gloves. I showed them in the last video, but I, I buy these, and these things are cheap. Uh, neighboring town has them. You get them in Walmart, you get them anywhere. They're like anywhere from three to five bucks. The really good ones are like something like 10 bucks, but get some of these. With the rubber, uh, they breathe on the top. There's summer ones and winter ones. Get the summer ones because the winter ones, yeah, your hands will be on fire. Uh, good, uh, these are Hydro Quebec, uh, uh, nice uh, suede gloves. These are really nice. Uh, but I would still probably get these first. They don't last that long, but they'll last long enough. I usually get about a month or so out of them. So, uh, again, the safety, get the safety equipment started and then build on to it as you go. Like, even when I'm whipper snipping, I wear this, right? Uh, for two reasons. Number one, I'm protecting my hearing. I am a musician, so, uh, that is very important to me and i'm protecting my eyes and this keeps a lot of rocks from hitting my face this is so nice and the nice thing about these is they breathe and this is about 60 bucks new uh so i really really recommend that so that's how easy it is guys i know you're like you don't need spreadsheets for this <laughs> you know what i mean that's it's not how it works it's more what job am i going to do what tool to the job do i need and for a thousand bucks and maybe not even a thousand bucks uh, I like to give you new prices on stuff because if you find it used, you can get an idea whether, uh, like for example, I got a free snow scoop from uh, one year for Christmas and I got uh, a roof rake that was 20 bucks. And that roof rake has made me like thousands of dollars in the last past decade for a $20 roof rake. You know, you know what I mean? 
uh, if I would have bought that roof rate new, it would have been like 150 bucks or something like that. And even at that, return on investment is just stupid. Uh, and the thing is, is it gets you going um, very cheaply. So like it, it's really yard working is like if you are struggling to work, you can't seem to find a job that you like. Uh, like I say, you're going to start off at about uh, 20 bucks an hour in most places. And if you're in the city, it's even easier a lot of times because uh, if you do have, a, like, like say everybody on your city block, if, you, if you're living on a city block, uh, you use your lawnmower, whatever, you make them pay the gas and stuff like that. I'll do a, a video on how to charge people uh, and stuff like that. It's different everywhere because the, the smaller the operation, the easier it is. The bigger the operation, the more complicated it gets. But you, you could start with your city block. You don't even need a car. Just as long as you can push the lawnmower to and from your, your client's place, you know, and you can start there, build up money, then get yourself a, a $400 beater like this or whatever. As long as it's reliable enough to get you back and forth, uh, you, you just keep upgrading. So for a thousand bucks, that's how you start a business. Very, very slow, very, very easy, but a couple of years, bang, you'll be uh, running bigger, much bigger equipment.